Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video for you today. So in this video, I want to clear up some misconceptions about the new summoning animations. Or I guess it's not totally appropriate to call them the new summoning animations considering they've been on JP for quite some time. But if you're watching this video around the time that's released, then they're coming to Global for the first time in the next couple weeks with the 250 million download celebration. So I guess they'll be technically new over there. But regardless, let's call them the updated summoning animations. Before I get started, I want to give a big shout out to Fazzy69 from the Dokkan subreddit for providing the info in this video. So once in a while when I'm scrolling through forums or watching Dokkan videos, I find that some people are either mistaken or confused about what specific summoning animations mean when they do their summons. As such, I am here today to put all debates to rest and ensure that global and JP players alike are caught up to speed. This information, to my knowledge, is 100% accurate, but if you think that I made a mistake in the video, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. So without further ado, Let's jump right into it. Why don't we start with everyone's favorite, the Vegito Blue animation. For those who have no idea how the new animations work at all, each summon starts with Goku flying through the air. In addition, there's a chance that he might be joined by other members of the Dragon Ball cast like Tien, Chiaotzu, Gohan, and so on. Sometimes Vegeta will be one of the characters accompanying Goku, and if that happens, then there's a chance that they will perform a fusion when you pull down and release to summon. Now if they happen to fuse into Vegito Blue, that means there will be an LR in the summon. As of right now, this is the only guaranteed LR exclusive animation in the game. Now if you get a Super Vegito animation, and you're summoning on a Dokkan Fest banner, that means you're guaranteed a Dokkan Fest exclusive unit, which could be an LR if it's featured like LR Gogeta or LR Vegito, or if you're summoning on a non Dokkan Fest banner, then it is also a guaranteed LR. To be more clear, let's say you're summoning on the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta banner, which is a Dokkan Fest banner, and you get the Super Vegito animation. That means you can expect to get one of the featured Dokkan Fest exclusive units in the banner, which could be the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta himself. Alternatively, let's say you're summoning on a Rising Dragon Carnival banner, which isn't a Dokkan Fest banner, and you happen to get the Super Vegito animation, then you can expect to see a non Dokkan Fest LR in your summon like LR SJ3 Goku or LR Cell for example. There are two other animations, specifically seeing Hercule riding on Boo as one of the characters accompanying Goku, or a double screen crack with Oolong that have the exact same meaning as Super Vegito. Then there's the Super Saiyan God animation that guarantees at least 3 SSRs in your multi. And of course, we still have our Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, and Super Saiyan 3 animations that maintain their original meanings. You can still pull LRs or Dokkan Fest exclusive units off those animations, there's just no guarantee beforehand. So that's gonna do it for today's video. It was a fairly short one, but I think it was pretty important nonetheless. Hope you guys found it useful. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, and you want to see more of it, then maybe, just maybe, hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. But anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.